I think a lot of people think when you place your baby for adoption that you don't love them, but that's the complete opposite. When you decide on adoption, it's because you love that baby so much. That's why I wanted an open adoption. Open adoption is the most common type of adoption because it allows you and the adoptive family to develop a lifelong relationship and maintain a connection with your child. At first, I you know, was thinking, you know what, maybe it'd be easier if I just gave birth to her and you know, after that had very limited um, contact from the parents. And as I got to know the family and as I got further in my pregnancy and really felt the baby, I started getting closer to her and closer to the family. So I decided, you know what, open adoption is very important to me. I wanted her to know that I placed you for adoption because I love you. I wanted to give you that best chance of life. I knew that that family could send her to college, take her on vacations, have her join all the sports she wanted to, and I would be able to have updates on that. <laughs> Get pictures, letters, texts, and since I've had Charlotte and I see how well she's doing and how happy that family is, it just reaffirms that I made the right decision. In the beginning, we wanted to close adoption because in all honesty, we thought it would be uh, much easier um, for the, the grieving process, I guess you could call it. I might have been feeling a little bit selfish, to be honest, and it was this would be easiest for me because having to watch someone else raise my kid, like how do you, how do, you do that? How, you don't, how do you do that? You know, so I just, I thought it would be easier for me if, and maybe for him, you know, if he didn't know who I was and just what a mess I was. You know, I, I wanted him only to know a good mom. In the end, I'm very happy that we have open adoption versus a closed adoption. It's a blessing to be able to see him grow up, to see a lot of his first, and actually be with him and be with them. While it sounds like it would have been easier for a closed adoption, in the end, it wasn't. Oh, nice somersault! The open adoption was necessary and for our family and for our friends that still want to see him and know him and see how he grows up. But we understand that our choices impacted them as well. And so to be able to share those moments and things with them, I think is really important. It's important to understand the pros and cons of open adoption before making the decision that's best for you. To get more information on open adoption pros and cons, please contact an adoption specialist at 1-800-ADOPTION.